Hello everyone, this is Cypherdeck, and today we're going to be playing a game called Dastira by Real Magic. So, this is a game where you are sent to a planet. I believe this is a Earth that is going to become um, uninhabitable. But there is one thing left to do, and that is we are imprisoned to mine terasite that's all i kind of know i don't even think that's completely correct but we are sent here to mine terasite and there are a few things that i have done to make sure that things go kind of quick and that is um we are Increasing the amount of items that we get whenever we harvest and That's it. We're still as far as health is concerned. We're still low health uh, We're level one in health also I Increase the amount of mobs that we'll probably uh, Interact with just because of the fact that I felt that if we're going to increase the amount of items that we receive We should at least make it a little bit harder for us uh, because it kind of makes it easier for us to be able to get these items that we're going to be getting. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to get some resources together. We're going to try to farm up some bots. As you can see, uh, here you'd probably only encounter one bot. We're encountering two. Uh, and most likely we're going to encounter many more. Uh, <laughs> You can only find them in the museum back on Orbis. They should be helping people, not attacking them. They used to help us a lot back when we pioneers stayed in these buildings. Now you can shift F to, to loot everything on the body. That way you don't have to sit there and loot um, by just opening things up like this and then dragging them into your inventory. You can loot them faster by shift, uh, shift F. Um, makes it kind of nice uh, But like I said, there's going to be double the mobs So that should make it a little bit tougher though. These are not that tough. <laughs> Actually, I don't know why these guys are Staggered the way they are <laughs> They're, they're kind of acting weird Okay, and then one more You know, I, I've played this game a little bit with uh, AC Gamer. Uh, I thought I was recording at the time and that we were going to, I was going to post a video, he was going to stream, but for some reason, it did not record. <laughs> so, uh, that is why we're streaming today to get into the game and check it out and uh, do a little bit of solo play this time. Okay, getting some fabric, which will be good for making armor, which we should probably go ahead and do. But I want to get some um, some terasite first, I believe. Or is it metal and fiber? And let's go ahead and go to I for inventory, and then crafting. So we can do regular fiber clothing, but we cannot do the next tier because that requires terasite. So let's go farm some terasite up. By the way, the mobs that we're fighting right now are not very hard mobs. Let's go ahead and also, while we're here, let's go ahead and make some ammo. Go with 30. So one thing we did learn whenever I was playing with AC is that there are certain zones. There's some mobs over there. Uh, certain zones. And they are owned by different organizations. One of them being the Hyenas, I believe, or the Hydra. 
Uh, let's go ahead and look at our map real quick. Uh, uh, hyena? Yeah, hyena. And then there's another group that is signified by these green zones. Um, I don't know who owns what. Like, I think this right here, I think this is all, uh, owned by the green group. As you can see, it's surrounded by them. But um, the difference is with, the, with Hyena, you don't have to have um, any kind of weather protection or um, radiation protection. Oh, whoa. Oh, there's some mobs who should have been in there the first time. Try to get around this corner. Okay, he's dead. Holy cow, where'd all these guys come from? Turn off uh, full auto and turn on semi. Oh, these two guys are dropping good metal. Oh, uh, so many of these shield guys. He's dead. Ooh, fine, fine weave. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and heal. All right, that's Terracite, by the way. Let's go ahead and eat. And also refill. Okay. Let's see, where are we? We're here. There's an orbital supply right there. Let's go ahead and head that way. I know we just walked away from there. Actually, let's take a look at what we can build here. For what's facility? Corresponding phase controller required. Chemical phase controller. Geo lab. Okay, so they're just, um, we don't have any skills yet. All right, so we can make this armor now. Let's go ahead and make that. Um, we can't make any of the weapons. Let's make these. There we go. We're already on a pretty solid foot getting started here. Um,
We'll drop that. By the way, uh, where these are placed in our inventory is not where they're placed down here. We're going to replace bandages because the syringes, I don't know if they're faster or not, but they seem faster. Okay, so something that these guys dropped that we need a lot of, well, we don't need a lot of them, but they, they drop something that we need, and that's motors. They also drop um, cylinders. Cylinders are what we need to um, to repair our guns. At least the, the current guns that we have. Uh, you'll see... Um, here are these cylinders. And then there are the fine cylinders. The fine cylinders are the ones that are going to allow us to make the next tier guns. And we're pretty good on chips, so we really don't need to kill any more of these guys. Orbital supply signal detected near you. Oh, nice. Should have some useful things for you. I hear robots next to me. Must have just disappeared. So we're in the yard. Okay, I really don't need to loot these guys anymore. Just trying to see if there's anything in here that we need. And it's not looking like it. Let's see. I think this is the place we're gonna head towards. We may actually, actually, let's head over here. Seven hundred meters. Let's head over there. It looked like it might be a good place to set up a base, but it's kind of far away from everything else, so. Maybe try to find flat areas that we could set up, set up a base. Okay, we're good.
Okay, there's a hyena uh, place right there. We're gonna go check that one out. Can I go into the water? I, I honestly don't know. Okay, I do swim. Before I go in here, let's go ahead and repair. Supply base portal key. Oh, I didn't repair it. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves some. And also we got a point. I'm gonna go ahead and put that into hacking. We should be good. I see up there. This is actually a good spot right here. I think I've actually been here before. I think um, when uh, myself and AC were here, we made our base like right here because this was such a good harvest point. I think that's what I'm gonna do is I'll probably reset up here. Um, I don't remember where we set up. Um, let's take a look here. see so um, this side has some good items I think it has some um, some fine terasite so we'll go with this side first
Alright. Did not know about that. So it should be, yep. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the same base that we were at. <laughs> So this one we're definitely going auto because it's just such a good gun. does have okay there we go and we got some fine chips out of that one need a level I've been in that one, this one. Um, I have no clue what this is for. Okay, there's something I'm missing there, and I don't know where it is, and I don't do I have duplicates of anything. Uh, I don't need do oh, yeah that right there. Oh, batteries. I don't care about batteries. All right, I think we're done here.
I think that's dead. It's a bear, by the way. The reason I'm going over here is this looks like it might be a nice flat area to make a base. Or maybe not. see we're here kind of want to head here yeah um Gotta make that. It's so hard to find a nice, good, flat area to build. kind of what I'm wanting right there and then I want to put a wall there put a wall there put a wall there that's too wide that's three wide. Okay, that's perfect. So I'll put the door here. Set a password on your door to keep unwelcome guests from entering your home. Hold and press interaction key near the door to set a password. All right. I honestly have no clue how big the vehicles are in this game, but I think I have to have the core near where I make the vehicle bay, um, which could be a problem. Uh, we need a door in here. That leads. All right, I can rotate. There we go. That's all right. We can get more stone. I think. Food items are more effective. Uh, okay. Health recover items. Caching time reduced. Reduces skill points. Max health is increased. Okay. 
All right, let's find some rocks. Hearing a lot of noises over this way. Sounds like a ship or something. Maybe I could do one more layer or one more. I'll go a little bit into, uh, yeah, that won't. Yeah, I'll, I think this is actually big enough. All right, so there that is. Um, oh man, I, thing I'm worried about is where I'm gonna be able to build this um, this thing. Has to be within the area of uh, of the core. I think I might be able to build it back here though. If I can build it back here, that'll be fine. If I can't, we're gonna have a problem. But we're gonna leave this open for right now. Let's go ahead and put a door in. All right. And we'll put this in the very back center. The building core generates power by disintegrating anything you put inside. Convert any items you don't use into power. There we go. The core. Of course, Terracite produces the most power. All right. Now then, I need to go ahead and make a crafting station. There we go. And I want to make a new gun, which is this gun right here. Let's go ahead and craft that. Craft that. Craft that. Craft that. All 
All right. I need lenses. Storage, we'll go ahead and craft one of those as well. So this is going to go ahead and go to the place of that. Okay, that does not fit in that. This does fit in this though. All right. Well, that works for now. And I'm low on terracite. That's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and put this this guy down. Wherever I put it, there we go. All right, um, one thing, I don't have enough. Okay, so I think I need a uh, fine terracite for the hazmat. Oh no, I don't. Oh yeah, I do. One piece per though? If it's only one piece, uh, that's exactly the amount. Exactly the amount we need. Let's go ahead and craft this. We're going to have to take this with us for anything we, we plan on doing here. Uh, vehicle. Oh, that'll be easy to get. I can get that pretty quick. Alright, so let's put this stuff away for now. Keep that on us. that on us for now oh those are fine chips might be able to make the new um let me check here we'll carry these with us protocols okay so i just need more fine terracide as well all right so, keep terracite on us as for healing. Don't need fiber on us while we're out there. Um, leave those there. All right, and. We're good to go for for now. So that green there, that is the other group we have to kill. So let's go, um, go and see what they have. And then we'll figure out what else is going on around here. Okay, I think I think we gotta put the hazmat suit on here.
Yeah, we we need the hazmat suit for this place. Okay. Okay. Give me the fine metal I need. Oh. Let's take a look around here before I go up. Doesn't look like there's anything down here I can loot. So, because of the fact that I'm wearing this equipment, the, the hazmat suit, I, I have almost no, I have almost no, um, no defense. Got some fine chips. Oh, I got the anti-rad. Uh, Need to go upstairs to get the fine... Tr oh, actually. Oh, I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's see if we can't get this hacked. And we failed. Uh, there is something I can make, but I can't make it here. I have to make it, um, have to make it back at the, the house. And that is, uh, cool down. So it allows me to, uh, not have to deal with system overload, but it takes a lot of Terracite. So until we have a good storage of Terracite. Ouch. <laughs> That hurt for not having anything in it. Until we have a good amount of terracite, we really can't do anything about it. We don't need more motors. There we go. Okay, that's everything on this side. Now we got that side.
I know I saw someone walking over there. There we go. Taking crossfire. Oh, I'm almost dead. Almost dead. Wow. Come on. Heal. Heal. That's what I thought. Okay, go, go. Wrong one. All right, come on. Don't film me now. Got it. Take it all. failed. Oh well. I think we uh, got a lot of stuff today. 
the next place over is just right there. Um, I think I will, I'll break my legs, but I can go that way. Okay, first off, let's go ahead and Is that maxed? It, that is maxed. How's that? 140. And that's only a hundred. I won't fight it. Let's go ahead and put this there. Ooh, I got 50 uh, tier 2 battery packs. The nearby portal leads to a hyena supply base in the Delta region. You can use the access keys held by hyena soldiers to move to the base. Next to it, there is also a Terracite transmitter. You can purchase items. Okay. Well, Kurt, we're going to come back here. We're going to head back to our base. We just got a lot of stuff to unload. We have everything we need for the vehicle. Got a hundred and fifty. Nice. Maybe I should have. I should make the uh, door come into the back this way. Um, I think that's what we'll do. I don't have any. That's all right. Okay. Um, put these in here for now. Uh, put those there. I don't think I got any of the lenses, though. I need fine lenses. I didn't find any fine lenses. Okay, let's go ahead and craft that. So I can't make fine lenses from other lenses. Um, hmm.
integrated utility controller integrated management uh, terminal device that uh, shows all production facilities okay that's not what I'm looking for yeah these lenses I need to find those okay all right let's hope this works Oh, oh. How do I not have tons of these? Oh, I can't make fine cylinders. Um, did it say I needed 10 of them? I'm going to say yes. I should have just made all of them. There we go. Register. I have that. I have that. Regular register, right? Yep. How many of those did I need for a vehicle? I need 20, okay. Good thing it's just, it's cheap. All right, let's look at guns. It's these. <laughs> These are 25 versus 15. Wait, wait this is a marksman's rifle? Mid range. Where's that gun that I have now? That didn't, that made less than I need. That sucks, okay. Let's see how big this is. All right, is this a, is it, this is just a door, right?
All right, well, let's do this. Let's go for this gun I'm interested in. This does not look like a... That might actually be a better gun than the other one, than, than this one. So let's make all the parts for this that we can at least. Um, grip. Oh, that requires more of those cylinders. Where do I get those cylinders? Extended mag. Maybe I don't need to worry about that. Okay, so I can't, I, I cannot extend the mag in this. I am pretty sure that I'll be able to put a scope on it. I just have to find the items that I need. Alright, where am I and where do I need to go? Okay, first off, let's make a few things. So these medical injections... I want I want to switch to those. So medical shots. Let's craft those. So, system shock packs. I want to make... Okay. Cannot make those. Can make... Okay. Let's make those. So, um, we also need cooling shots. All right, let's let that all build up. And um, that way we'll have everything we need. And uh, so this place that we're going to it's this area here, and this is going to teleport us to here, I believe. So that's why I'm trying to get it all set up. I'd like to go here, because I'm, I'm interested in what that big, huge place is going to be. I don't know if it's going to be a Hydra or, um, or a Hyena, or if it's going to be the green guys. But 
we're right where these big robots are supposed to be listed. I guess that's what they are. Like, oh, maybe we're not. We're, we're nowhere near there. All right, so we need to get the items that we need to be able to make uh, either... We need to farm the things that we need to make cylinders or we need to make the cylinders and um, okay let's go and grab these I'm not gonna get rid of those I'm gonna put these over here let's put that there Yeah, I think I'm not going to pick up any more registers. I have no clue what those are for, but keep them for now. Vertical bifolding garage door for your base can hang from the edge of a ceiling. Or Okay, okay, okay. So let's grab this. It looked like it was too high, so that's kind of what I was looking at anyway. Let's go ahead and put these walls. Okay, and now roof. So it was only going to be one. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I can retrieve it. All right. So that means... See if this falls down if I remove all the supports. I don't think it will. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. Alright, I guess a vehicle is one high? Uh, I guess we're going to find out. So that is number two. That is number three, or four, rather.
These are all medical shots, just making sure we don't need that. We do want these. And we'll put that there. Uh, oh, I need to make, I just need to make another storage. And AFK, just one moment. Okay, uh, it looks like we have everything we need. I don't think, oh, I can put that there, good. Number seven. No, I don't want that there. Okay, put metal, I mean, I guess we should repair, of course it's going to require that metal, so I guess we keep those on us, <laughs> we'll put terracite away. Put rock away and put metal away. Don't need that. Gonna put that away. And I think I. There we go. All right. Let's make sure everything is reloaded. Now I just figure I have to figure out how to get into this um, hyena base. Well, never mind. Found it. <laughs> so this right here is the portal to take us to the other. You can earn points by transferring your TerraSite through a TerraSite transmitter. You can also buy all kinds of items using the points you've earned. Oh, wow. The number of points you can get depends on the grade of TerraSite you send. So the more high purity Let's go see what we can find transfer, here before we go the more up. Points you'll get. Okay, we got point. Some superior TerraSite from a TerraSite rig in the facilities will net you the most points. Yeah, this gun is nice. Let's try the burst. Okay, these are uh, these are dropping the cylinders we need.
Okay, he's also uh, dropping the base portal key, which is what we need. Don't need the registers, but we'll harvest anyway. Okay, no, no hacking here, so no reason to stay. Oh, there we go. So let's try this thing out if we fail. We're at 77. So it's taking off a good chunk, but these are expensive. So I don't want to be wasting a lot of them. So we'll just wait for uh, for that to come back up. We just need one of those. So the plan right now is I, uh, I'm going to skip this one. I'm going to go straight to here. This increases your success rates. Uh, success, success rate also reduces time of overload cooldown. This, it, um, the energy cost is, uh, is reduced. Casting time of the hacking is reduced as well. This I'll go back for, but I'm more uh, concerned about this. And then we're going to go down the healing line here. Um, also, the battery line will be after that. We also have this fist ability. Um, can use Sonic Boom. Uh, charging time of Sonic Boom is reduced. Uh, cooldown of Sonic uh, Boom reduced. Uh, damage of Sonic Boom increased. So, I don't know if this is worth it. Uh, we also have resources. We can increase the quality of resource or the amount of resources. Uh, require skill points. Uh, fast gathering stone one so we have to get all three of these one and uh, in, uh, inventory capacity is increased by two five and ten slots okay so th that might be something to work on too. get one into each of these one into each of these and then go for all three of those just to get the uh, ten extra slots Combat, I plan on sticking with Sniper, so we should probably put some uh, damage into Sniper. Though, I haven't played with Rocket Launchers yet, so we'll have to see about that. Uh, let's go ahead and um, recharge. And try again. If we fail, we'll just go ahead and continue on. Yeah, we'll go ahead and continue on. We'll go ahead and pop two of these again. And now I just got to figure out where I'm going here. Orbital supply. Okay, so I'm here. I think I need to go back outside. Yeah. 
And I think it's over here. No, nope, it's over here. Where am I? Is was it over there? Maybe it's. I'm so confused. Okay, yeah, it's over here. All right, so because we have that card, we're able to go up here. And we're already cooling down. Now, I don't know what the cooling amount is that we are allowed to get to, but uh, we're gonna need to continually use uh, these uh, cooling things that I have. Also, did I, I, I did not bring the stuff to make more. So we're gonna have to make this quick, whatever this is. Okay, let's go ahead and hit number six. Oh, am I supposed to be using warming? If I'm supposed to be using warming, I'm doing this wrong. One second, let me read this real quick. Cooling a syringe with cool medicine that will help your body recover from hypothermia. Okay, so this is... Ah, that's not what I wanted. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I need I need a key off of one of these guys. Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. I did not bring any metal with me. Do I have metal on me? I do have metal. Let's go ahead and start crafting uh, ammo. Okay, I need... I don't know if I'm going to survive this. I hear lots of people. Not seeing anybody, but I'm, I hear them.
No! I didn't keep track of my health. <laughs> oh my god. Let's just say I died from hypothermia. Yeah. I figured. As soon as I got up here, this is where I was getting all my damage from. Oh no. So I died here and I died really deep in with, uh, well, I think we're going to probably end it there. Um, this is just a, a look at the game Dysteria by, um, are you awake? You probably lost I am. everything in your inventory, except whatever you have in your secure slots. Well, thank you. Recover the items left where you died before somebody else finds them first. Yep. Um, by Reality Magic, a really enjoyable game, I feel. I probably shouldn't have set the amount of bo uh, mobs as high as I did. But the game has been really enjoyable. I like, number one, I like crafting. And I like that they make the crafting kind of difficult to get to the next tier. Um, but that's fine. I, I think there should be kind of a, a um, give and take whenever it comes to being able to move forward in your crafting. I even increased the amount of resources that I got. And even then, it was still some trouble getting the items that I needed to be able to upgrade to the next tier. And that's fine. I actually enjoy the game more because of that. So, uh, yeah. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the game. I know I did. And you should definitely check it out It's um, if this is the kind of game that you're interested in. The map is huge. The game is actually made for multiplayer. There are servers that are private servers and as well as, um, as, uh, uh, <laughs> what's the other, uh, the opposite of private commercial, I guess commercial is the word. It's not really the word, but, um, it's, uh, either private servers or, uh, um, public servers, public servers is the word I'm looking for. So you can join those, or you can play solo, which is I, uh, uh, which is what I did. Which means the whole map is mine to explore without any kind of interruption. That said, um, playing on multiplayer, you can choose if you want to be PvP or not, and that is where this game becomes kind of like Rust in a way. Um, so, if you like Rust and you want to try that kind of version of this game. Uh, that might be the way to go as well because you're everybody is fighting for the same items and uh, you know I don't know anyway guys hopefully you enjoyed this aside for deck peace out. Yeah.